Hello everybody and welcome to my 10th Intermediate Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to teach you how to use a VLOOKUP formula. Now if you haven't heard of a VLOOKUP formula before then all it simply does is it's going to look at a list and then return the value that you're looking for in, in the list. So it's useful when you've got um, a list like this uh, you always have to have a table um, and you've got uh, a piece of information somewhere else and you want to look up against this list. So this is just a simple shopping list that I've put together. Um, there's no formulas in this bit yet, this bit is just going to work out the cost and then the total. Um, but the idea is you're going to put in the number of the item um, and the quantity and then it's going to look up the name of the item for you uh, and the the price of the item and then it will work out all of the all of the cost. So um this gets started. If I put in a number first of all, so let's put in three and we're gonna buy six bananas. I think that's about a bunch size. Um so we're gonna try and put the item name in here. So if we start off with equals the lookup open bracket you notice that this has four parameters uh, the first one being look at value so that is the value that you want to look up uh, in the table so we're looking up item number so we want to put in this cell here so we're looking up three which should go down to number three then that's that parameter done the next parameter is table array so with that we just highlight the table that we're, we're, we're cross-referencing against. Now what we're going to want to do is just go in here and put the dollar signs around the the writing using F4 um, because otherwise as you drag your formula down your table is also going to move down and then you're going to be looking up against nothing. Um, so that's that parameter done. The next one is column index number so we're looking for the name and that is the third column so it's this is column one two three so if we put in three that means it's going to return the value in column three and then range lookup i always put false um, it stands for whether or not your list is in order um, but to be honest i just always put false out of habit because usually my lists are, are out of order um, and it's not gonna it's not gonna mess you up if it is in order so there we go, you can see that, that formula is now bringing through banana. Um, so if we do the same thing again for item price, so equals VLOOKUP, open bracket, lookup value, again is this cell, comma, highlight the table for the next parameter, and F4 so that the, the dollar signs go around it. This time we're looking at column 2, so put in 2 and then comma and false close bracket and there we go so it's brought through the price as well and then this formula is just times in the price by the quantity and then that one's just adding them up um, so all we need to do next is just drag this down and uh, this will mean that when we fill in these it's gonna it's gonna look up them appropriately. So let's say we want to buy ten carrots. Uh, we're gonna buy two apples, um, and then that's gonna be it. But what we've got here is there's none applicables, which we don't really want um, because they're ruining our formula here. So based off of uh, my last tutorial, tutorial nine, let's just put in a um, inspection formula. So equals if open bracket is error, and then put this formula in the error uh, is error formula, comma. So if if that value is true and this is an error then we don't want to put anything in, we just want to put in nothing. And then if it, um, if the value uh, is false and this hasn't errored, then we want to take this VLOOKUP formula and we want to put it in again, close bracket. And I've missed out a bracket there, um, 
So all I'm going to do is just click yes, and it's going to fill in the bracket for me. Um, now it's telling me there's an error on that cell with the little green arrow. It's because it's inconsistent. So let's just drag that formula up there, and then drag it down here. Um, and I've ruined my formatting there. So let's just fix that. Um, Alright, let's not fix that. Oh, let's do it this way. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Make them yellow again. And then we're just going to do the same thing in here. So this is getting quite a big formula now, so just make sure you're you're keeping up. So equals if and we've already got the equals, so if is error open bracket put that formula all in the is error comma value of true nothing comma value of false we want the formula there and then close bracket and I managed to get my brackets right that time drag that down for all that formatting this time and there we go so now this is still coming up as hash value so let's go same in here so equals if is error open bracket comma nothing comma and then we just want the former again drag that up Fill that formatting, drag it down, fill that formatting. And there we have it. So this is our list tidied up a little bit using the inspection is error formula. Um, and as you can see, we can just keep filling that in. Let's buy some pairs. I only want one pair. Uh, let's buy a marrow. Um, I'm going to get one marrow because they're huge and I don't really like them. Um, um, uh, I'm missing one item, eggs. Oh, we've got to get a dozen eggs, haven't we? Um, so there we go. Uh, what you'll notice is if, if you put in seven, it's not going to find it and then that's going to throw an error, which is why this is going blank. Um, if you can't find the the lookup in the, in that table, then it throws you an error which can actually be quite useful as I'll show you in the next tutorial. Um, so if you have any questions about this just drop them in the comments below. Um, if, you, if you're finding my tutorials useful then please subscribe to, to catch my future tutorials and thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.